next we have uh, rules of thumb or say thumb rule for tonnage okay but before this what is thumb rule thumb rule is what based on the previous experience based on the previous experience uh, if you are just taking the decision roughly that we can call as a thumb rule right so you see a thumb rule in engineering is a general guideline or a rough estimate that can be quickly used for initial calculation thumb rule is for initial calculation not for the final decision and in hvc we are using this thumb rule at the initial stage or for small project directly based on the thumb rule will will consider that equipment uh, selection also small project means i'm talking about a small small uh, villa I'm, I'm talking about india in, not in uh, gulf in gulf or in countries even for a small villa they will do the detailed calculation but in India, we don't require that I means as per that conditions and uh, the economical condition and the weather condition. Mostly in India, they are using thumb rule directly for small projects. Uh, again, in India for a big project for highest building, the complete calculation is required. Or at the initial stage of a big project, one can use this uh, thumb rule. So based on the thumb rule, we have this values and can be asked in interview. You need to memorize this. You see, one ton. You know what is ton? TR will cover 100 square feet square feet of what area and i'm considering three meter as a standard height of the space three meter 10 feet okay so one ton will cover 100 square feet and this is outdated this is for or based on the old school and you see i've given this point common construction without insulation this we used we use almost uh, seven years or ten years back but nine market one tr equal to 100 square feet means it's a very very low efficient system and now in market we are talking about the saving of energy green building value engineering sustainability etc so this is just for information in actual practice we have some values which is below we'll discuss but still this is uh, in common practice especially for a small project in india so one tr will cover 100 square feet area with the standard 10 um, 10 feet height 3 meter for expose more than two for example consider as a room top view this is a room this side is exposed this side is exposed and this side is also exposed only this side we have one more room in that case we required one this 400 square feet area one ton is required if the uh, the room is say 200 square feet we can consider say two tier just roughly similarly if the room is not completely exposed you see for room exposed one or less so only one side exposed remaining we have this other room this side also other rooms in that case we can consider one ton up to 130 square feet of area again this is just outdated now in actual practice we have this one tr equal to one tr will cover 400 to 600 square feet i'm talking about the standard insulated i'm talking about the standard insulated building or i can say the, i'm talking i can say green building or the standard project now if you talk about standard or a high class project you'll find the insulation in the wall in the roof and even for a small project in even india in roof you'll find the insulation uh, you may not find in in the wall but you will find in the roof and roof means what which is exposed to sun the top slab so remember uh, if you talk about the green building or for standard uh, insulated building we can consider 400 to 600 square feet for one ton very efficient this is just a rough estimate but in insulation means uh, insulation yeah. means uh, which is uh, you see insulation or a conductor reverse of a conductor a copper is a good conductor and uh, a for example polyurethane or uh, say thermocol general thermocol you know no? eps extended polystyrene technically is a good insulation which is used to reduce the heat transfer na? insulation is a reverse of a conductor you know this conductor or insulator as a mechanical even electrical people also relate this one suppose for example in, in in at the time of constructing the wall suppose this is a brick and uh, the cement plaster now after that i'm using a plywood a one inch plywood inside or before this i'm using a insulation like uh, eps or polyurethane or uh, fiberglass etc so what will happen the heat transfer from outside to inside is going to be less na, compared with the without insulation but don't worry we have a separate topic in detail about this insulation at the time of uh, load calculation before starting the load calculation at the time of preparing input file we'll discuss how to find this unr and unr is depend on the type of material okay so and we'll talk about the importance of insulation this is very very important for uh hvc point of view and even for green building concept okay so at this level just memorize this uh, thumb rules may ask in interview and i've given one example also from this rules of thumb handbook you see at the initial stage one can use this rules of thumb handbook and i have just pick one page which is belongs to office you see for office uh, general office 300 to 400 square feet per turn similarly for interior space and uh, 
here for large areas 225 to 275 because in that equipments uh, are less similarly large interior 300 to 350 like this this is just example like this in the rules of thumb handbook we'll use uh, at the time of designing also just for reference body field the initial stage in that you'll find uh, the rules of thumb for different application just i pick for office with the with the 6.01 section similarly you'll find the rules of thumb for hotels you'll find for school etc i'll share you that don't worry at the time of calculation this is just example <laughs>